This video is for you. If you want to get started with the carnivore diet, you want to get restarted with the carnivore diet, or you just want some motivation and inspiration to keep going. In this video, I'm going to give you the 10 tips that have been super helpful for me to get onto the carnivore diet and stick with it. Just before we get into it, guys, do me a huge favor, smash the like button and also consider subscribing. It helps me to grow the channel and be another voice getting the word out there about the carnivore diet. Thank you very much. That said, let's get straight into it. Tip number one is don't be afraid to fall off the wagon. Changing a lifestyle is hard. It's really difficult to go from eating lots of processed and sugary foods and changing that completely going to eating no sugar at all. And there might be times that you fall off the wagon. There might be times you give in to temptation and you have that cake or you have that ice cream. And when that happens, the most important thing that you need to remember is don't beat yourself up about it. Don't feel like a failure because you've fallen off the wagon. Just see this as a blip on the radar and get back on. Just resume the carnivore diet and things will be okay. The worst mistake you can make is to feel like, Oh, well, I had that ice cream, so I'm going to have the bag of potato chips. Oh, I had the bag of potato chips, so I'm going to have the extra ice cream. I had the extra ice cream, so I'm just going to have the half loaf of bread. And it keeps going, and it gains momentum. And before you know it, three days later, you can't remember what the carnivore diet was like. If you have that one slip, you eat a cake, or you have the ice cream, whatever, don't worry about it, just get back on the horse. Just resume the carnivore diet. Tip number two is to take time for yourself. One of the hardest things about cravings is when you're in a social situation. When you're out with friends, your friends are just out to have fun, right? The same as you. And they're going to probably be eating the foods that you shouldn't be eating right now. They're probably going to be drinking the drinks that you shouldn't be drinking right now. And whether it's direct or it's indirect, there's going to be peer pressure. And so when you're first getting started with carnivore, one of the things that I found the most useful was just simply avoiding social settings. It's good to go out and be able to enjoy life and be able to see your friends. But one of the things that you want to be able to do is enjoy the time with your friends without worrying about, am I going to eat the wrong foods? And when you're first getting started on the carnivore diet, that's one of the weak points for you. And so in order to build up the strength and the resolve so that you can stick with the diet, even if someone's eating this delicious looking cake in front of you, take time first. Avoid the social situations until you build up that strength. Tip number three is to be prepared with excuses. There are going to be times and there are going to be social situations where you're presented with food to eat that you just can't eat. You just don't want to eat because it's going to cause inflammation or it's going to put you off track. And you just need to pre-prepare some stock excuses. For example, I'm sorry, I can't eat these veggies because I have some allergies and I'll get a GI flare-up. Talk about GI issues and the conversation will quickly change to something else. Or you could try, sorry, I can't drink alcohol right now. I'm on antibiotics. Just have those stock excuses prepared so you can slide them into conversation and move on to something else. Tip number four is to start slowly. Starting extreme and going full bore into this might work for some people, but for the majority of people, they are going to have to ease into this diet. And easing into the diet doesn't give you as many visible results as quickly, but it's going to allow you to stick with this lifestyle. You don't have to dump the veggies and the fruits immediately. Cut down on the veggies and fruits, but cut out the things like the processed foods, the sugars and the seed oils. Start there and then you can gradually cut out the fruits and the veggies until you're full carnivore. Tip number five is to have some good quality butter at the ready. There are times where you're going to feel like giving up and just guzzling that packet of potato chips or drinking that soda. If you've got some butter around, you can get over those cravings. Treat the butter as a snack. Just have a stick of butter. And the great thing about this is it is super satiating. Any hunger that you felt, any cravings that you had will be neutralized. This is the beauty of fat. 
Tip number six is don't try to intermittent fast from the outset. When you're getting started, it's hard enough already. It's hard enough to change your lifestyle completely. When you're getting started, you've got a lot of challenges. It's hard enough to change your eating plan as it is without introducing another variable of intermittent fasting. At the beginning, focus on giving your body the nutrition and the satiation that it needs. You can look at introducing intermittent fasting later once you have no cravings, you're satiated all the time, and you have more self-control. Tip number seven is don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. If you're just getting started and you can't afford the best cuts of meat, you can't afford the grass-fed meat, the grass-finished meat, you can't uh, afford the pasture-raised eggs, don't worry about it. Don't use that as an excuse to not do the carnivore diet. Just do the best that you can. Eat the eggs that you can get. Eat the meat that you can get. Focus on being better than where you are now, not being perfect. When you focus on being perfect, the likelihood of you failing or falling off the wagon is super high. Tip number eight is don't worry about measuring anything except carbs. When you get started, don't worry about whether you're having too much protein, enough protein, too much fat, enough fat, any of that kind of thing. Just focus on making sure you're keeping carbs as close to zero as possible. Naturally, you're going to find a point where you are happy. Naturally, your body's going to start to understand you need to eat more fat so it can remain satiated. And I say don't worry about measuring things except carbs because what happens when you start measuring, if you feel like maybe you're not getting enough of this or you're not getting enough of that, you start to try and compensate and then it gets frustrating for you and there's a big risk that you're just going to give up because there's too much work. Focus on keeping your carbs as low as possible, as close to zero as possible, and everything else should take care of itself. You can focus more on the details once you are into the diet and you have more self-control. Tip number nine is don't listen to anyone who doesn't look at least twice as healthy as you. When you start any kind of diet, there's always people coming out of the woodwork giving you advice. Oh, I did that diet, here are the problems. Oh, I'd like to try that, but there's another thing that you should do first. There's so many people willing to give their advice. But my feeling is, unless someone looks at least twice as healthy as you, ignore them. Because if you don't ignore them, you will drive yourself crazy with self-doubt about what you are doing. Tip number 10, and this is super important. Keep reminding yourself how much better you feel now compared to before. Whenever you have cravings, whenever you feel like I might just give up, whenever you have any doubt, just remember how much better you feel now, how much clearer you are thinking, how much easier it is to focus, how much better you feel because you can run without joint pain. Keep reminding yourself nothing tastes as good as healthy feels. Guys, thanks for sticking with me through the whole video. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.